how to customize Shopify's free theme. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can customize your free theme on Shopify. So let's get into it. Now, this is just a sample store that I've created and it's relatively empty. So I'm going to show you guys step by step how you can start customization of your store. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is build a couple of sample products so I can show you guys how you can arrange your products as well. So I'm just going to add Daytona crossbody and then I'm just going to add a simple description like this and I'm just going to keep this over here and I'm going to upload a photo of our product. So going into our galleries over here i have a couple of photos for our product like so then we're going to enter a price and then quantity and more and then i'm just going to save this now once you have created your first product you can get started with store customization now the reason why i recommend creating a sample product or adding your first product before you start customization is because it can help you in setting up your store in a more effective way where you can actually see what it's going to look like once it has been finished. So to get started with customization of our theme on Shopify, click on online store on the left panel. This will lead you to all of your themes. So you guys can see we have the default Dawn theme applied. However, if you scroll down, you can actually see some of the other free to use popular themes by Shopify. So if you're looking for a different kind of design, you want something a bit more versatile or something that is not used by everyone, you can choose one of these other themes or even visit their theme store to be able to see some of the other themes on Shopify. However, we're going to be using the Dawn theme because it is a tried and trusted theme. The reason why so many people opt for the Dawn theme is because it has been proven to make sure that your customers end up buying from you and you don't only have leads, but you have converting customers. So we're going to click on customize on the right panel over here and this will open up our Shopify store editor. Now, one thing to note is that you can go into your theme settings on the left panel over here. That's what I like to do when I'm editing any store. And when you're starting out, you want to go into the theme settings. And then from here, you want to upload your logo. You want to upload some of your basic information. So I'm uploading a logo and a favicon. The favicon is the smaller version of your logo that appears on top of a tab. So when you see, you know, a new tab opened up, you see a smaller logo and that is your favicon. So you want to insert those over here. Then you have your color scheme. So you can click on add scheme and choose a particular type of color scheme that you want to opt for. Let's say I want to go for this one. So just add the color scheme and then you can apply it to every section that you have. So for example, I want a pink color scheme. So I'm going to build my color scheme first, like so. And then the text is black. The solid background button is going to be pink like this. So this is another editing scheme we've created. Now, if I click on any section like this, I can go on ahead and see the scheme and you will see on the left panel, it will display the scheme. Now I can click on change and I have my own customized scheme available that I can apply onto that particular section. So this will change the overall appearance of your section. Obviously this depends on what kind of section it is as well. After that, you also have some other options such as your font stylings. So this will show you the default fonts and you can pick out whichever one you prefer. So if I want this font over here, I can go with that and you can load more as you go. You can pick out any one that you like. I personally like the Agmena font. That's just personal preference. It really is up to your own selection and choice. After that, you have your body font. So we're gonna change this as well. And then after that, you have layouts as well. You also have animations, buttons, variant pills, as well as collection cards, the appearance of those. But these are just some of the up top settings that I like to alter before I get into it. 
Now, next up, you can go back into sections and you can get started with customization of your sections. So let's say I want to customize this image banner. Now, what I can do is that you guys can see this is our header. And then after that, we have our um, basic body. So our header is applied the same on all our pages. And then you have your image banner over here. If you don't want an image banner, just click on the delete icon over here and this will delete that banner. However, your website can look a bit empty if you don't have a welcoming banner. So for that, I like to click on add section in the template feature of your home page sections. And then you can go into sections over here and you have different types of sections you can choose from. Now, let's say I want to insert a video or you can even build multi rows, multi column, text, collection lists, featured collections, product and more. Now for this, let's say I just want to set up a video and this is uh, below our featured collection, but I'm going to move this product up. And after that, I'm going to click on this and I'm going to remove the title. I just want it to be a video. And then after that, I want to play the video on loop. Now you have two options from here. You can choose a Shopify hosted video where you're going to upload your downloaded video that you have in your device, or you can go onto a URL and embed from a URL such as YouTube. So let's just say I want to embed from a URL and I'll just take out this video from here. And then I'm just going to paste this over here. Now, after that, you can select a cover image for your video as well. And then you can also choose to make the section full width to make your video more encompassing. After that, you can choose the space between your video and the next section. So I want this to be as close to the header as possible. So I've removed all padding from the top. And then I do want to remove some of the padding from the bottom as well, because I don't want this to look too wide. So just like that, we have our video embedded. Now, after that, you have your next section that you can get started with styling. So I have my featured product collection. I only have one product, so it is only displaying one product, but as you add more products, you can start building different collections. Once you've completed that, you can go into the top panel over here and start customization of other pages because this is just our home page. Now for that, we can go into the product pages and go into our default product. This default product can help you in setting up how your product is going to appear. So let's say below our product listing for every product, I want to add some related product. So you guys can see that related product section has been added. However, currently as I have no other products, it's not going to display any product. However, if there is any alternate section that you want to add, such as a featured product or a rich text or a quick order list, anything, you can add that over here as well. Once you have completed your changes, simply click on save over here. And now let's take a look at our current website. So this is what our store currently looks like. It looks pretty nice. It's, it's a decent store and you can just further customize to your personal preferences. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.